In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a quiz activity in Moodle. This is going to be just your most basic kind of quiz with the typical settings that you would normally set up. Just a note, if you haven't set up quiz bank questions and or categories, please make sure to do that first because this workflow does require you to use questions and categories that are already created. So I have editing turned on in my course. I'm going to add an activity or resource where I want to add the quiz, choose my quiz activity and add that in. I'll give my quiz a name. And then we'll go and look through some of the settings here. First off, timing, very important. You're going to want to set a open and close date for your quiz. You can set the dates and time here. If you click the calendar icon, that is going to give you a date chooser that can make that process a little bit easier. In general, I recommend setting the closing time as close to midnight on the last day the quiz is open as possible to give students as much time as possible, but I'm a night owl, that's just me. You can set it however you choose. You can also set a time limit by clicking enable and then choosing the amount of time you want students to have per attempt on your quiz. Looking at the grade, you can choose how many attempts you want to allow students to have. So often this would be just one attempt, but of course you might want to do two or even unlimited depending on how you set up your quizzes. If you do allow more than one attempt, make sure to also set the grading method. Do you want to count the highest grade or the last attempt or take an average? Let's look at the question behavior you can choose to shuffle the answers within questions. And you also can choose how you want to show students feedback. Deferred feedback is the normal quiz that you would expect. Under review options, you can control what students can see about their attempts and the feedback that they get about those attempts at various times when the quiz is given, immediately after they finish the quiz, or even after the quiz is closed. Many instructors like to hide some of these items after the attempt and then only show students them after the quiz is completely closed and it can't be attempted again. So that's a general overview of the quiz settings. Most of them have to do with controlling the quiz taking experience and how much time students have, how they move through the quiz and things of that nature. So once you have that set up how you would prefer, click save and display. That's going to take you to your actual quiz activity and you'll see a message that no questions have been added yet. So of course you need to edit the quiz, which means you're going to be adding questions in. You can either click this button here or come to your administration menu and then click edit quiz there. Now you're ready to start adding questions. You're going to come to the add option here and you can either create a new question right now, or if you're following my method, you're going to pull a random question from a question bank. So you can choose a category or a subcategory, or you can actually choose a category and include questions from the subcategories as well. I'll go ahead and do that. And I'm going to take three questions and then click add random questions. And that now has pulled random questions out of my, my category and into my quiz. The idea here is I could have a question bank category that had many questions in it, say 50 questions, and then I could pull out the 10 or 15 that I need for each student to take. And that way students aren't getting all the same questions or if they're taking the quiz multiple times, they are not getting repeats of the same questions. Before you save, make sure to set the maximum grade that you prefer the quiz activity will scale automatically. Um, so for instance, if I had a three question quiz and a student got two of them correct and I left the maximum grade at 10, the student would get a six and two thirds. So it does scale automatically, but whatever you, the grade you want to show up in the grade book, make sure that you set that here and then click save. Congratulations, you just created your first Moodle quiz.